Big steamers Rudyard Kipling and person quo. Oh, where are you going to, all you big steamers, with England's own coal, up and down the salt seas? And person quo. And person quo. We are going to fetch you your bread and your butter, your beef, pork, and mutton, eggs, apples, and cheese. And person quo. And person quo. And where will you fetch it from, all you big steamers, and where shall I write you when you are away? And person quo. We fetch it from Melbourne, Quebec, and Vancouver, addresses at Hobart, Hong Kong, and Bombay. And person quo. And person quo. But if anything happened to all you big steamers, and suppose you were wrecked up and down the salt sea? And person quo. And person quo. Then you'd have no coffee or bacon for breakfast, and you'd have no muffins or toast for your tea. And person quo. And person quo. Then I'll pray for fine weather for all you big steamers, for little blue billows and breezes so soft. And person quo. And person quo. Oh, billows and breezes don't bother big steamers, for we ryan below and still rigging aloft. And person quo. And person quo. Then I'll build a new lighthouse for all you big steamers, with plenty wise pilots to pilot you through. And person quo. And person quo. Oh, the channels is bright as a ballroom already, and pilots are thicker than pilchards at Luo. And person quo. And person quo. Then what can I do for you, all you big steamers? Oh, what can I do for your comfort and good? And person quo. And person quo. Send out your big warships to watch your big waters, that no one may stop us from bringing you food. And person quo. For the bread that you eat and the biscuits you nibble, the sweets that you suck and the joints that you carve, they are brought to you daily by all us big steamers, and if one hinders our coming you'll starve. And person quo.